So what are your big your big trolls? What is your most glorious troll in your active duty or CIA crazy mm. person? Man, that's that's a that's a good one. I think I had Tony Tony Cowden. Uh, you guys maybe know him or not. He's an SF guy. I worked with the Mountain Moosel. He was on the podcast. He was there when I lost I lost this bet, and to I had to donate and I had to wear an Obama shirt in DC when we went bar hopping, when we oh, got back. God. So there, I have a picture of like me and my buddy sitting there and he's laughing at me. He took the photo at me because they were fucking laughing at me and it, they thought it was hilarious. By the way, it was hilarious. I don't fucking care what people think because it was hilarious. And then I'm like, all right, well, I have to offset the donation. I better donate to the other side. But I was like, that's a lot of money. Maybe I'll just like donate 400. So <laughs> if I would have just like been thinking ahead, been like, oh, well, maybe 500, cancel it out. Because in fucking 12 years, this might be an issue. No, I guess I wasn't thinking that far ahead. But in Mosul, I had this shirt and I had the whole outfit, but then I added a drop leg holster to it. So I had a drop leg holster. I had two radios. So I had like, two radios, drop leg holster, I had some grenades, a helmet. So I'd wear this helmet. I had all this shit. I had a can of Copenhagen like rolled into the sleeve. And there's a there's a new uh new guy showing up. He's a he's he's a former SF guy. He'd just gone through CAG selection and done a bunch of other stuff. And he's flying in. It's the only guy coming off the plane. I pull up to the tarmac and I sit there because I'm like, I can't wait for this fucking guy to get off this plane and see this glorious bastard standing here. The plane is taxing and the pilot is pulling in towards me. And as he turns the plane, he moves his head and he, like, his mouth falls open. That's how fucking stupid I looked. It was amazing. <laughs> the pilot yeah, like the pilot's like, what the fuck? And so Marshall was his name. He, he walks up. He's like, oh, uh, you my ride? I'm like, I'm your ride. <laughs> 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 and then I start talking to him. I'm like, so are you like a Navy SEAL or something? Or what do you guys do? Because those SEALs are hot. They're like super hot. Their abs are hot. And he's like, no, I'm a Green Beret. I'm like, oh, cool. Are they like SEALs or what do they do? You know? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I'm like, but you got to wear your helmet safety first. So I give him this helmet and oh I give him eye pro. So he's putting on fucking helmet and eye pro. And I tell I him, I, I tell him that I'm the chief of the base. So I tell him I'm in charge of this whole thing. So he doesn't know. He's never worked for the agency before in his life. He has no fucking clue who I am other than like this dude shows up with a trap lake holster, two radios, a hand grenade, and a Hillary for president shirt with a life jacket and a helmet and I pro on and talking in a crazy list. I'm like, so you like a Navy SEAL? I mean, I see those guys and I'm putting those, and I'm talking, I'm like, everybody's always out in the yard working out. Like I run these workouts every day, you know, for two hours. Most of the time I'm not working out. I'm just like writing down numbers, making sure guys form is good. That's the way I'm talking to him. And he's like, what the fuck is going on? And I continue to have, I mean, we're on the base. He has to wear his helmet. So I keep fucking telling him he has to keep, keep his helmet on everywhere we go. I take him to the base. I give him a tour and everybody else in base knows what's going on too. So they they're read in on this whole thing. They're like, hey, did you meet Chief? Oh, he's an interesting guy, right? He's gonna want to talk to you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Alone. Uh, and, <laughs> so I go through the whole thing. He's wearing his fucking helmet the entire time with iPro, by the way, on base. And I'm talking to him about all this fucking crazy Which, shit. Which if if you don't know this, when you're like Head pro helmet, it is the last thing you want to wear. The last thing. Period, period overseas, especially when you're inside the wire. You're like, oh, my fucking God, I hate this guy even more that I have to wear these yeah. two pieces of equipment. This is fucking miserable. Miserable, and it was just some stupid... I mean, sometimes you would go to different bases, they have these rules, and you'd hate bureaucrats and making rules. So I was like, go through this entire thing. I walk him through the entire base bring him back to the team room. And I was like, Hey man, you really think that I'm the fucking chief of base? <laughs> he's like, he turns to me and he's just like, what? He does not compute. I'm like, 
I'm just fucking with you. Like, there's no fucking way I'm the chief of base. One, I'm like 30 years old. Two, like, <laughs> what in the fuck? You really? He's like, I don't know. Well, I don't fucking know. And he got so mad. He like <laughs> throws his fucking gear in the locker, doesn't talk to me for two weeks. And we're on the same team. He won't even fucking talk to me. <laughs> won't drink? talk to me. Won't look at me. It's just like, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. 